Tell us what the entry points into that sector is. You have played in that sector for yeah. nearly one and a half decades yeah. now. Yeah. Well, you. you what are the various you, entry points? You know, you know for, for like like I said, you you need to first of all know what you want to deliver to people. You need to have the substance, the value to deliver to people. What area you want to play in? Yes, exactly. What area you want to? What your voice? And what is your message that okay. you have for the people? What is the message you have for the world? Yes, exactly. What, what will be the subject area yes. that you want to play? Yes. You know, some people some people do know how to speak. All right. I mean, they can speak just about anything. They know how to carry people along, connect to people. Yeah. But the problem then becomes, what am I going to focus the on? Content. What's the content? What's the substance that I have to deliver to people? So you, you may know? have delivery techniques yes. and lack content. And la and lack content, exactly. But it's important for you to have content, content. and delivery yeah. techniques. Exactly. Great. Now, how do I get into the industry? I mean, for example, if some viewer out there mm -hmm. is listening to us now, yeah. And their mental mouth yeah. is salivating that oh fifty billion dollars. How can I if get I can <laughs> capture if I can capture a hundred million dollars mm -hmm. of that every year, mm -hmm. I will just be fine. Mm. How does that person go about it? See, technology has made it a lot easier for yeah. people to come into the industry. Okay. So you need to take advantage of technology. You need to take advantage of the advent of social media. You need to take advantage of your phone. It, it, so what you seem to be telling us is that the entry point is democratic. Exactly. I think we need to be clear about something. Wait. The entry point is democratic. Yes. Yeah. So you don't need to be approved by any organization or party. Yeah. yeah. To for start speaking. For you to start speaking yeah. entrepreneurially. Yeah. 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 Because it's not just about start speaking. Yeah. You could start speaking as a religious leader, mm -hmm. but we're talking here about <laughs> yeah. business. Yes, yeah. To have speaking as your product mm -hmm. that you sell yeah. as a business. So the entry point is democratic. Yes. Yeah. Um, but to gain traction yeah. and credibility, and credibility, yes, there are some things you need to put it together. Yeah. yeah. What exactly. are those things? Uh, there, there are organizations like the Toastmasters International okay. um, that get to certify uh, public speakers. They, they, have, they have clubs in different countries and different cities. They expect you to I'm be I'm a member of the Toastmasters uh, International. As a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, the Pioneer Club in Nigeria. Oh, fantastic. Eagle Club. Fantastic. That's my club. We were the pioneers. Oh, fantastic. You know, when fantastic. it first came yeah. to this country. You know, you know, someone has to set the standard. Someone has to uphold and maintain that standard so that we then continue to deliver quality and value to the people. Okay, so that someone could be as varied as international bodies, yes. local bodies. Yes. And when you plug yourself into those bodies, yeah. there are quantum benefits oh, that yeah. will accrue to you. Certainly. So